All right, guys, Mad Nasty Trapping back with you. Um, for this video, I'm going to show you guys that live in Michigan how to legally set a bucket set with a 220 kind of bear for raccoon. Um, there's a lot of discrepancies on how this bucket set is to be made. And uh, I have gone through the law book and I went step by step on all the laws on how to do it. So, what we've got here are the directions in Michigan for a legal bucket set. Okay? Michigan's a little bit different than most states, from what I understand, and finding a Michigan legal bucket set on YouTube, I have yet to find. Most of them leave the fronts of them wide open, and uh, yeah, that's not legal in Michigan. They have big discrepancies of what to do. So, all right, I got one that I've started to make here, and uh, we will show you what the laws say. Now, you can always get the law book, refer to the law book, by no means am I a legal expert, and the law book is not a complete definition of every instruction on how to hunt or trap. There are laws that are not in the book. Michigan.gov backslash DNR. Look it up. Make sure you are up to date. Laws do change. But to the best of my understanding, per the law book that I've got recorded down right there on my table, this is your Michigan bucket set. Okay? Right here, standard five-gallon bucket. Now, per the laws in Michigan, you must have a six-inch right here, six-inch maximum opening from bottom of bucket to midsection six inch okay on your sides you cut your sides down i just used a you know standards you know standard hacksaw be careful you'll split buckets and you don't want to do that but cut your openings your openings by law according to the law book must be eight inches in the slot. The slot zone must be an eight inch slot zone. Okay? And you don't have to mark it, but I did. That way if the DNR show up and they have any discrepancies on my sets, I have tape measured them. Right here. <laughs> I've tape measured every bucket that I'm doing. And I mark the bucket with the sizes. So that if we have to and a DNR has a question about any of my sets, I can go ahead and take a tape measure, run my tape measure on it, show them that it is in fact an 8 inch cut, that my trap is in fact right there on the line, 6 inches minimum from the lip down, 6 inches. I have it marked. So I can tape measure, go, yep, it is 6 inches. Okay, then on these Meyer buckets that I've got. They do have three nice openings. One, two, three on the back. Reinforcements on the circles. It's nice. I like placing my holes there so the scent can disperse out. And they can better smell it from the back side of the trap. They're still going to come around to the front side to get into the 220. But that's an easy way to go. And the little circles in there I have found to be a benefit so that when you're cutting your holes, it doesn't split the bucket. These buckets are brittle. They're cheap. They're about $3 from Myers. I also go and drill an extra hole right there. That extra hole is where I attach my bait on the inside of the bucket at the back. That extra hole allows me to run trapping wire through and then add a crimp, add a knot, add a metal washer, whatever I need to do so it doesn't pull back through. But I attach my bait to the back of the trap there. Um, sardines are what I'm going to be using in this one. You can also go ahead and use uh, KFC original brand chicken run a zip tie through the chicken and zip it to the back. If they're going through a 220 counter bear, it's going to go off before they even get to the bait. So that's how you do it. So again, just a refresher, six inches, top to bottom. Yes, technically per the picture, needs a lid. Now, it doesn't say a lid, a uh, piece of plywood. It doesn't say what must block that entrance. But the entrance must have an opening of maximum six inches from opening to opening. So always measure from here to here. I know this is a 12 inch, it's a 12 inch span bucket. So I know six plus six is 12. I know that half is your six inch opening. 
Okay, so we are illegal. Now, most people know your 220 Conor Bear. I don't have this one set yet because I'm in my garage. I'm not out in the woods yet, but I will set it out in the woods. And you can drop and slide and twist that 220 Conor Bear in there. Bait it first. Slide in your 220 Conor Bear. Set it down to the ground. Run yourself some sticks through the holes. Walk away. Make sure you use your trap tags. Uh, we're all about staying legal here, guys. This is the name of the game. We don't want to set a bad image for the trappers out there. Um, people got a bad image in trapping as it is. Let's not make it any worse, guys. Let's stay totally legal here. Follow the laws. Make sure that you check the laws. They're different in every state. Um, stay legal. Let's get your catch counts up. I know I'm trying to get my catch counts up, and I know that I'm trying to keep my traps above ground right now as much as possible because the ground is starting to freeze. We just got an inch of snow last night. So that's why I'm setting my bucket sets out, keeping above ground on some of them. My other traps, they got wax dirt. First time using wax dirt, so we'll see how that goes. But I don't want to miss any catches. I want to keep as many traps above ground as I can. Dog-proof traps, 220 kind of bears. Uh, Anything you can do. Uh, that's basically in Michigan what you're legally able to do. You can't use snares on state land. Otherwise, I'd be doing that. So it's stuck to kind of bears and DP traps. Um, dog proof, you know, by Duke. Um, that's, that's the only way to go here in Michigan. But I just wanted to refresh you guys' memory. And let you guys know that this is the Michigan style. Michigan legal way of setting a bucket set or using a 220 on land. You cannot use a 220 on land in Michigan. The biggest you can use in Michigan is a Conor Bear 160. Conor Bear 160 still has laws, but you can openly set a Conor Bear 160, to the best of my knowledge, with no bait. Whenever you use bait on a Conor Bear trap, it must be in a box or a bucket, to the best of my understanding in Michigan. So let's keep it safe, let's keep it legal, let's keep our traps tagged, let's follow the laws, let's get our catch count up, let's see if we can stack some furs, and let's just see how many furs we can get, because at this point, the majority of the critters and the fur bears don't have limits. Some do, most do not. There's no bag limits on the majority of the animals. Again, check your, check your law books for the laws. But let's just see how many we can get this season. I know I'm doing okay, but nowhere close to what I was hoping to. But that's going to change. More traps are going out. More instructional videos are going to be coming out. I'm going to help you guys along the way. Watch my catch count grow. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the support.